Hello. In this video, I'm going to be talking about hasty.ai. So what is hasty.ai? Well, it's an annotation tool to help you with segmentation, object, object detection, and much more. So what do I mean by that? So originally, um, people would use image uh, tools like label image and those are very manual and very simple and it would take a lot of time to go through an entire data set and to annotate classes one by one but with hasty it can help automate that and help increase or help uh, like decrease the time needed to annotate data sets so how does it do this basically when you upload your data set and start annotating there are smart features that would automate annotation and would just annotate the entire data set for you and that would help a lot by obviously reducing time because you wouldn't have to go through the entire data set so basically you would have to annotate a couple of images first and then the model would learn from that and then you can automate the annotation and use the model to annotate the images for you so it would for for example box the objects you wanted to box for you and then you can just click on that box and it would already be ready or you can use the model to just annotate the entire data set and then you can just review over the images to make sure the annotations are correct and that saves a lot of time especially with something like segmentation so you can create a free account like a free trial and how it works is it works with a credit system so every single annotation or class you create costs a certain amount of credits so for example you put one box around a certain object that would cost one credit for example and with a free account you would get uh, 3000 credits and that's not too bad if you have a couple classes and a couple hundred images that's pretty much enough for that if you wanted more credits you'd have to pay for those but it's very worth it and I think it's a great tool so once you've created a free account you can go to your projects and create a project from there you can up upload your own images so I made a video around open images and how to source your images for there for your data set and I just uploaded a couple hundred images so if you wanted to upload you can uh, upload from here drag the images here and it will just upload them for you alright so let's see how this works if we start from the beginning for example let's go find a random image alright here we have like three four cars so usually how it work is there would be a manual tool like a bounding box and you would make a square around the object and in this case this would be a car I've created a class in here and it's called car so here's another car we have a bus but we can count it as a vehicle it's fine and then we have one more car here see now that took time to create that uh, but once you finish um, putting boxes around the objects you can just click on image status and press done so now there's a system here called object detection so basically once you finish annotating 10 images it'll turn blue so now that it has turned so once you finish annotating 10 images and clicking on the status and says done it'll train this model for you and it'll take around 10-15 minutes but once it's ready you can just click on it and there you go it selected the object for us automatically we didn't have to make a, our box uh, ourselves so if you want to click on it, you can accept the suggestion and now it's annotated. So it costs around a credit and a half per box. So we can see there are obviously, obviously still cars back here. But the thing is, this model gets better as you annotate more images. So I've only done what, like 30, 40? So it's not as good yet, but if I did, for example, 200, it may have detected these in the background and been more accurate. But the more you do, the more better, or the better the model gets so here we can just put one more here and then we can press done for this image so once you've done a certain amount of images it'll get to the point where you can actually use this model so that it would train or not train annotate the entire data set but you would have to do a certain amount so this feature auto enables I'll show over here if we go to projects cars project summary automated labeling 
how it works is that this feature is only enabled when it thinks that your model is accurate enough to label the entire data set because if it's not good enough or if it's not accurate enough and it does the entire data set there could be a lot of errors and take a long time to fix which doesn't really help that much because then you'd still have to go over each image and fix the mistakes it makes so once you've done uh, like a hundred or uh, two hundred images for example for this data set and it thinks that it's accurate enough it'll enable the feature and then you can select the images or whatever and then proceed and it'll just annotate it all for you so yeah that's pretty much what hasty is so we also have um, more tools if we wanted to do uh, different types of annotation uh, like segmentation but like for now uh, with YOLO for example we mostly use object detection so this would speed up the process hasty would help with that so yeah that's that's pretty much it with this video I just wanted to show you this new tool which I thought was pretty cool so yeah make sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching